You came back in from outside, huh? Fixed elevators. Thank you. Now I can move free. You, not so much. You are in life support. A jog there, I think. Eel tanks. Where your trust our food comes from. Chopped up and made new colors. Connected to septic system. A jog there too, I think.
Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something when I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass. Roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. I've just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. Office, Morgan. I guess I see where all that trans star money goes. Chief Ilyushin? You're alive! Igre? You made it? Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell? Morgan, is that... No, no, that is... I am January. Morgan used personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. So, it's the three of us. Four of us. Anyone else from the labs or psychotronics? Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Chief Ilyushin, please do not- Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Sending you the code to my grav shaft. 
Assuming it still works. I won't be joining you. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth. Like I promised. Took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer. Another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Telos One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. Because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. <laughs> I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and reset. I know, I'm including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. My gut tells me it's kind of a neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down, if it ever broke containment. Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. You don't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? <laughs> that won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, Immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests... They changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually. The constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want... is to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned... is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Carl. I'll send you the scan locations.
Morgan, yeah. don't. I'm only a shallow copy of you, and I know better than to abandon Talos One. If you leave now, you're only delaying the inevitable. Where do you think the Typhon will go next? The you family caused much trouble on Earth. Now they play with the stars and expect not to burn. I wondered why you opened us to the chamber. Make us see a horizon. Sharp. Razored. Hungry. You surround yourself with machines, with things. They cannot keep you safe. They will eat you as well. After they eat you, maybe I take your suit. Hmm? Become MU. Get shuttle access. Morgan, that video was... I'm still checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time. Microgravity detected. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose. Or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? Thank <laughs> you. 
better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. To you. Hurry. Search complete. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but... Wait. What is... There's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. Approaching the crew facilities? If so, this is a sentimental request, but my collection, the gallery of photos the others used to laugh at, each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data, connectomes, the guests who came to the station. Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is. is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. I'm sending you an audio file that will open this safe in my room. You can play it with your transcribe. following me. It's... I keep hearing it. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just in my head. Mateo. David. I love you both. Mom, I'm sorry. I know you were just trying to protect me. I love you so much. fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're gonna come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. Star Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One, effective immediately. All employees must now report to the shuttle bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Liu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Dal out. System alert. Cutters 
We're locked out. It's Dahl. He already has his hooks into every major system aboard Telos One. I have to admit, I'm disappointed with our parents. I knew that they had a contingency in place, but a small foolish part of me believed they wouldn't use him against their own flesh and blood. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. See if you can locate his access point and cut him off. All will know you're coming. All Transtar personnel are outfitted with tracking bracelets. I have no doubt his operators are already on their way to rescue you. Those bracelets are issued and removed in deep storage. Worth investigating if you want to fly under the radar. For me, I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos One without any more bloodshed. Just don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. This is Alex Yu, speaking to any surviving crew of Talos One. I know many of you are fighting, angry. Perhaps you blame me for what's happened, but I never intended to harm any of you. Believe me, quite the opposite. Commander Dahl, on the other hand, has no intention of rescuing anything except the secrets aboard this station. You're all liabilities to the company now. Dahl! I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what my... what the board told you, but you're out of your depth on this one. Call off your operators, or at least help us hold back the Typhon. We're on the verge of... Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist, even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. I hear you chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying to fix the mess you've made or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst. But this, this is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Lab. 
Brat. Now I can't see you. Your brother won't be so lucky. I'm closing in on him. list hoping somebody would answer i'm in trauma center i came up here to look for supplies I, I think i broke my arm when that blackout happened now i'm trapped aliens outside the door i could really use some help man good afternoon talos Security reminder, sticky notes, even well-hidden ones, are not a secure means of storing your workstation password. Thank <laughs> you. 
Unlocking calibration request. already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. Good luck. reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That... Morgan is not me. I would ne... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them. You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth... Morgan! I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex.
according to our nature. No matter what the psychologists and priests say, and your nature. I think I was right before. You are like a rat. Resourceful. Sly. Burdened with a kind of pestilence of the mind. This station was your laboratory. And the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. Morgan, Dr. Yu. Good to see a friendly face. Was worried I might not make it here myself, but my luck held out. I, I hope you don't mind, but I made use of your fabricator. I was able to gather the right materials to make several refill canisters for your glue gun. Also, if I may show you, with this kit, I think I can increase the fluid intake efficiency without detriment to the weapon's effectiveness. Here. The Morgan, in the lobby might have I was left. worried Dalo, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCN9 black box operators, not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. Genuine, not now. Yes, of course, but Dal, his arrival may help us, as long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal, he's a recipient of several neuromods. A standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. You see, Dull's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here. Yet we would still have access to the shuttle and a way home, provided his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try. And there's been enough killing. My word. My hand is shaking. I must be more rattled than I knew. Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. Nice setup. Would have loved to have one of these in engineering. I took the liberty of restocking your supplies. Found some food on the way up. Left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien proof. I checked them. No twitching. I haven't been in here since you were lecturing me on my paraplexus. Thought for sure you were going to fire me. Too bad you were sweet on me. I could tell. I never told you why I altered my medical records. I know you were so sure when you were lecturing me, Morgan, saying I was selfish and... I don't... I don't... My father. He was imprisoned for questioning the Soviet intervention in India. Many prisoners are lost in Siberian labor camps, but my father vanished. The only thing I knew for certain was Tronstar was recruiting volunteers from those labor camps. I came here because of you and Alex, and your experiments. To find him, and now I know he was here. I noticed on your computer. You found a set of names and ID numbers from Psychotronics, from Dr. Gallegos. The Russian volunteers were never referenced by name, but I was able to match an ID to my father. We can pull up his records, archived experiment logs. I've already asked a great deal of you, but if you could find that archive in deep storage, I'll finally know what happened to my father. His name was Yuri Andronov, V01065532. Morgan. Grace, Leitner's work is the very definition of the word. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. In some ways, I wonder if Dahl is worse than the Typhon. Morgan, the coral is spreading to other parts of the station. I doubt the Typhon are just going to keep building it indefinitely. It must have some end purpose. 
The discoveries made aboard Talos 1 seem to validate some form of panpsychism. Consciousness is a fundamental force that exists everywhere to one degree or another. It seems plausible, then, that an organism evolved which is able to metabolize complex forms of consciousness. What are you saying? They eat other minds? Yes. That's... How can something like that exist? Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon have been accumulating. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I'd say the coral bears a striking resemblance to a nervous system. You believe the Typhon are building a disembodied mind? It's only a hunch. I had more time to study it. Studying it is what got us here in the first place. Привет, Морган. Морган. Finding a way up the station. I've always felt that consciousness is more like music than computation. Why Russia? Why Russian volunteers? Well, the Russian penal system is quite unforgiving, and their alliance with the trans interest economically coincided. It was Catherine Yu's idea. Their mother and Alex saw the advantages. So, they were murdered because of political convenience and cost savings? The term murder I would dispute, but I do not wish to lie to you. These two factors made them good candidates for the research development here. It is far easier to persuade a man to volunteer for experimental trials when his other prospects include capital punishment or life in prison. I would dispute the term volunteer, Doctor.